Hey, it's Matt with CAD Dimensions. So I'm here in my lab coat because today we're printing with Loctite 3172. 3172 comes in gray and cyan, and its main characteristic is its superior impact strength. It's a very tough, very durable resin uh, with a good surface finish and a high stiffness. So I have some parts printed already, uh, but we're going to queue up some more in NetFab and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, but to show you the stiffness, this robotic leg here, you can actually bend it all the way onto itself and it won't break. And then for the impact strength, well, we have this hammer. Uh, so we, we've taken this hammer, we've driven in nails, we've uh, crushed cinder blocks, and you can really tell it's a very, very hard material. Uh, and it's, it's one of the materials I've printed with the most thus far, um, and, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, so let's dive into NetFab and queue up some more parts. So here I am in NetFab have our origin build volume here and I'll show you just how easy it is to queue up some parts. But first we're going to print this lattice egg. It's a great sample part to show off all the different overhang, bridge, fine feature capabilities of this printer. So we'll just make sure that's on the platform and get that in the corner there. Next we're going to print this impeller. Now this is something I like to do. I like to take parts from that are, that are meant for different technologies and, and print them on the origin or vice versa. So this is actually an impeller that's uh, a sample part for SAF, Selective Absorption Fusion, powder bed fusion from Stratasys. So we're going to print this in 3172 to see how it comes out. So first I'll need to scale it down. And that should be fine. Make sure that's on the platform and then move that into place. Next is this locator block. Again, this is a part we've seen printed in Duran in FDM technology, but I thought it'd be a nice nice part to print in this material. So we're going to print it like this. And I believe it should be able to handle that overhang, but we'll certainly find out. Next is another SAF part, this electrical clip. And again, I'm just curious to see how this would print on the origin, so we're going to do it put it on the build platform. Now I suspect we will need supports under here um, and under there, uh, but I'll show you what that looks like. Just make sure these are all within the build volume. That there, and that can go there. And then before I add supports to these parts, I'm going to add one more, and that is this multi-tool from NASA. You can see it has a bunch of different uh, thread checks, bolt sizes, a little ruler. thought that'd be fun to print. So again, we're going to make sure it's on the platform and just drag it into place. And that should be good. So I skipped ahead here and I have my build all prepared. And the final step was to merge all of these parts into one STL. So you can see here it's considered one part. Now once that's done, you just export it from NetFab, which I've already done. Save that, and then you'd go into your Origin Origin 1 app, web app, and queue it to the printer. So you can see here, I've already queued it. Um, here are the sample parts. It's gonna be about a three hour and 13 minute print, 624 layers. You can get more information by clicking on this. You can see the amount of resin it's going to use, about 140 cubic centimeters. And then what this window is showing you is the first layer of the build. So this is critical to identify that all of the parts are indeed on the platform. Now if one of these parts was say raised up a few millimeters, you would not see this and it wouldn't print properly. So here you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six different parts and we can see all of their initial layers here. So I'm going to go start this print and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so our print just finished. I'm going to pull the parts off, and we'll see how they did. As you can see here, it looks like everything printed. Get it off the build platform. See, we got our egg. That looks good. Our block looks good. And it even did the 
the bridging just fine there. That's good. Our impeller came right off. That's good. Looks pretty sweet. Got our electrical clip. Now I'm surprised this one actually did better than I thought. I just chose not to support any of the inside um, or even this, this overhang here and it, it didn't love it, but it printed, so that's good. And then last we have that multi-tool from NASA. And that came right off, that's good. Okay, so next we're gonna throw these into the wash bath and uh, wash them up, let them dry, and then we'll cure them. So we'll wash that for two minutes, take it out of the bath, uh, blow dry it with compressed air just a little bit, and then throw it back into the dirty, or the clean bath rather, another two minutes, dry it again, and then it'll be ready to cure. All right, the first two minutes in the dirty bath is complete. So all you do is you take them out, give them a little dry, same thing. And not all of the resin is off just yet. But that's what the second wash is for. All right, next step is the clean bath for another two minutes. All right. So two more minutes, we'll take it out, do another dry with the compressed air, and then put them on a drying rack, let them dry for about an hour, uh, and then we'll go ahead and cure them. Okay, we got our parts cured. So let's just see how they came out. First, we have the lattice egg. And that looks great. Again, it always shows all the fine details, overhangs, threads, bridges, things like that. This impeller came out really well, a uh, really smooth surface. This block, you can tell this material, very hard. Um, so that printed really well. And then we have just our little multi-tool here. And that looks great. Again, really strong parts, really strong parts. And lastly, we just have our clip. And I was surprised that this one printed as well as it did, um, and it clips in even, so it's cool. So overall, you know, 3172 is a great material. Again, one of the highest impact strength out of any of the materials. Uh, so we'll be covering some more materials coming up soon, so uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.